we're facing an unmitigated disaster at our southern border. Illegal immigration is the worst in our nation's history, and it's indefensible. All of us have been down to the southern border. I spend a lot of time on our southern border. John Cornyn and I together brought 19 senators down to the border to see firsthand. You cannot see what is happening there and defend it. One of my recent trips to the border, a reporter asked me, said, aren't the policies of Democrats more compassionate, more humane than you mean Republicans? And I just started laughing. I said, you know who doesn't believe that anymore? Democrats. Where's Joe Biden? Where's Kamala Harris? Where's even a single Democrat senator? Where's AOC? I assume she still has her white pantsuit. She just can't be bothered to cry in front of the Biden cages. Because with Trump no longer in the White House, suddenly the suffering of those kids doesn't matter. You cannot see what is happening and defend it. And by the way, the reason Biden doesn't, doesn't go to the border, the reason Kamala Harris and other Democrats don't go to the border, because if they did, y'all would follow. The press would follow. And their only defense, they cannot defend what they're doing. Their only defense is to cover it up. Corrine Jean-Pierre stands at the White House podium and says, people are not just walking across the border. It's not happening. There's a technical legal term for what that is. That's called bullshit. It is an utter and complete lie. It is a deliberate lie. It is a known lie. And she is lying on behalf of the President of the United States in the White House. Now, why does she lie? She lies because she counts on the press not to call her out. Was there a politifact, a pants on fire done on that? No. I've invited the White House press secretary, come with me to the southern border any day and pick any hour of the day. We'll go out in one hour and I guarantee you we will encounter group after group after group. You want to know how bad it is we're now seeing Democrat mayors, Democrat governors, mayors like Eric Adams, the Democrat in New York, who says illegal immigration is destroying New York City. That's with 110,000 illegal immigrants in New York City. If 110,000 is destroying New York City, what in the hell do you think 7.6 million is doing to the state of Texas and the other states along our southern border? Now, these Democrats who are saying this, they can't quite muster up the strength to put the blame where it lies, which is at the feet of Democrats who are doing this deliberately. Instead, Mayor Adams blames, quote, that madman down in Texas, by which he means Greg Abbott. I have to admit, I was kind of offended he wasn't referring to me. But he blames Greg Abbott for putting a few thousand illegal immigrants on buses and sending them to New York City. The person who caused this crisis, his name is Joseph Robinette Biden Jr. His home address is 16 blocks away. And by the way, if Eric Adams wants some help fixing this problem, he can pick up the phone and call someone else named Charles Schumer. He's a New York resident. I believe he lives in Manhattan. If the mayor doesn't have his number, we can give him Chuck Schumer's cell phone. Because Chuck Schumer is responsible, in the words of the New York mayor, for destroying New York City. Look, some of y'all may have seen when Alejandro Mayorkas testified in front of the Senate Judiciary Committee. I asked him, I said, Mr. Secretary, how many migrants died last year crossing illegally? He said, I don't know, I have no idea. I said, of course you don't. The official numbers are 853, but you don't care about those dead bodies that appear in Texas every single day. I asked him how many children were brutalized by human traffickers. He said, I don't know. How many women were sexually assaulted? I don't know. How many people died of drug overdoses? As John Cornyn told you, it's more than 100,000. And you want to talk about something stunning. I put up a, a photograph with pictures of colored wristbands. I said, Mr. Secretary, what are these wristbands? And he said, I have no idea what they are. Now, look, any good lawyer will tell you you don't ask a question you don't know the answer to. That was one answer that left me flabbergasted. Because just about every single illegal immigrant who crosses the border wears one of those wristbands. They're color-coded for how many thousands of dollars they owe the cartels. And if you stand on the banks of the Rio Grande River, you see hundreds or thousands of these wristbands. They're just like this. These are the wristbands picked up from, from the banks of the Rio Grande River. And the little boys, the teenagers who come in who owe thousands of dollars to the cartels, they're sent to every city in America. 
and they're working for the cartels to pay off those thousands of dollars. They're committing crimes in Washington, D.C., in New York, in every city in America. And if they don't pay off the cartels, their families will be murdered. And as bad as the boys have it, the girls have it even worse. There are literally thousands upon thousands of girls trapped in sex slavery to pay off their debts to the cartels. When I look at these, these are modern day leg irons. This is human slavery. And it is caused by the Democrats not giving a damn about the people being abused. And so I want to make a plea to the press. The reason the Democrats can do this, can look the other way, is because they're confident that the corporate media will not report on it, that they'll never have to answer questions about it. They'll never be confronted with the dead bodies, with the people being brutalized by these policies. So I want to make a plea to you, if you're not writing on it, if you're not running stories on it, if you're not telling what's happening, you are complicit in modern day slavery. This is indefensible. It's evil.